financial planner flow on YouTube inflation warning inflation will hit like a tidal wave let's get into the economic collapse financial news now ADP came out with their numbers and they're saying that employment now is growing at its slowest pace in 11 months and what we're seeing right now is basically employment is declining and we see that small businesses they are experiencing a dip in hiring we also see the service sector they are seeing a dip in hiring and when we look at this we can see that the small businesses they suffered the most with about 11,000 drop with service providing jobs even as goods producing rose and this is the most since 2009 and we need to remember something very important about all of this is these numbers they've been manipulated for a very long time since 2008 and when you look at the graph and you look at where employment has gone really it has gone nowhere it's been up it's been down it's been up it's been down and we know that the number has been manipulated and massaged and you know made it out to seem like employment is fantastic today but what we're seeing right now is that everything is going to be catching up to where it was back in 2008 2009 because what's going to happen is the real economy is going to shine through because you can only keep manipulation going for a certain period of time before everyone's looking around saying okay why is that store out of business why is that store why is that company out of business where are all these people working and before you know it it really doesn't make sense and there's one way that we can tell that the employment numbers are completely made up because when we look at the state tax receipts and we look at the federal tax receipts they have been declining during this period now think about this for a second if everyone has a job and everything is fantastic we wouldn't see tax receipts declining we would see them increasing and what they've done is that everyone is now getting a part-time job which is lower pay and even though they count them as a full-time job that lower pay doesn't produce the same amount of taxes this is why we see tax receipts falling we also see it falling because a lot of people don't have jobs and especially those people coming out of college they cannot find the high paying jobs now we know that the central banks they have been printing like crazy now let's think about this for a second they've been telling us that the economy is basically recovered employment we're almost at full employment and they're telling us that everything is fantastic the fed seems no problems whatsoever it says the employment market is strong gdp numbers look pretty darn good they don't see any type of problems now the question is if everything is fine why are interest rates still zero to negative why are they continually creating more and more currency propping up the entire system if everything is fine now the world's central banks they have finally succeeded in only in unleashing an inflationary storm now the first pickup has only just begun to be felt but this time next year when inflation is well north of four percent globally and the big price moves have already occurred everyone will be screaming inflation now remember you're saying well four percent that's just ridiculous they're saying you know inflation now is 1.9 we other we had the other fed houses come out and say well we calculated inflation and we're getting three percent we're getting 3.1 percent we're getting 2.9 percent and we know that they've taken inflation and they moved it into the student loan market which colleges they moved it into health care they moved it into the housing market they moved it into the stock market they shipped it overseas and eventually what's going to happen it's all going to come flooding back to the united states it's going to be like a tidal wave now the global central banks they are printing around 120 billion per month and this is happening at a time when most major economies are said to be doing perfectly well now put this in, in a completely different way the economies of the EU Japan and the US are growing rather than contracting but central banks are printing more money today than they were during the depths of the last systemic crisis and when we look at the percent of GDP the aggregate balance sheet of large central banks we can see 
that this has been going up and up and up and it has not stopped. Now, the central banks, they have been printing money at this pace for over two years now. So we're talking about 1.5 trillion in hot money hitting the financial system annually for two years. Now, central banks have printed the rough equivalent of Germany's economy and funneled this money into the financial system in the last two years. And the markets, they really haven't taken notice at all. Already inflation expectations are roaring high and they haven't even broken out yet. And we can see that everyone expects inflation to hit. Now, when we look at what's been going on, we know that there has been inflation because we can see it in the supermarket. You can see it with the food. You could see it with uh, things that you purchase. You can see that the value of the dollar is decreasing. And we have something huge going on right now because countries, they are doing away with the dollar. I mean, it's a very slow process. Nothing happens overnight. Now, a lot of people say, well, you know, why isn't this happening yet? This does not happen overnight because it would shake the entire global economy. What they do is they do this very slowly. And when they, when the central banks, and I'm talking about the central banks, when they want to move to a different currency, a new system, they do it very quietly. They do it very methodically and they make sure that no one is noticing. And of course, the corporate media is not going to report on this whatsoever. Now, what they do is they make little moves, a little move at a time. Let's, let's in, in, include the yuan with the SDRs. Let's make some announcements about cryptocurrency. Let's duplicate uh, the financial system in different countries that basically mimics what they have in the West. All this has been done. Let's start backing the yuan with oil. Maybe let's back it with gold. Let's have other countries use the yuan. This is done through baby steps because what happens is over the many, many years, once they are finished, everything is complete and nobody can say anything. This is what we've been looking at all along. I remember there was a time going way back and you can see this in the reports about China where they will you know, they were going to be joining the SDR and people were out there saying, no, this is going to be impossible. They're never going to be joining the SDR. That's ridiculous. And here we are today where they're part of the SDR basket. I remember when Russia was creating their own payment system because of the sanctions and China started doing the same. It is now complete. Now the payment system mimics the SWIFT payment system here in the West. China opened up the Shanghai Gold Exchange. They opened up the markets that are very similar to here out in the West. This was all done over the many years and it was done on purpose. Nothing is by coincidence. They know exactly, when I say they, I'm talking about the central banking system. They know exactly what they're doing. And they know that inflation is going to hit, which really means the devaluation of the dollar. Because as these countries move away from the dollar and they start using other currencies, they don't need to keep them in reserve. The reason why they keep them in reserve is because they have to use them to purchase oil. Well, if they're not purchasing oil using the dollar, there's no reason to keep them. What else do you use them for? So a lot of that might come back. They might keep some of it, but a lot of it's going to float back to the United States. They might not, they might not even keep their treasury bonds. They might sell them off. And once this starts to happen, we're going to be in a, a bit of trouble here because inflation is going to hit and it's going to hit hard. And what the central banks have been trying to do throughout these years, they're trying to keep this away from the public telling us that everything is fine. Look, there's no inflation. We have the interest rates at 0%. The stock market keeps going up. Housing keeps going up. And people believe when these things move up, the economy is fine. Well, they moved back. They moved up in 2008. I mean, the stock market hit all time highs of like 14,000 plus points. The housing market hit a height that we've never seen before. And by the way, that, that came crashing down and it was a complete disaster. And this is what we're going to see this time. We're headed in that direction. And we can see already that the central banks, they are stuck. They have no other tools. All they can do is create currency. They need some type of an event 
to explain away why they need to create even more. Because what happens is the central banks are going to need to go into overdrive in creating currency. And this is why people are saying, oh, there's going to be QE4 coming or QE forever. And they're just going to open the, the faucets and it, everything's just going to run out. And we can see this is where we are headed. This is why you need to be prepared. This is why you need to be ready for what is coming. Because when inflation hits, the price of food and supplies, they're going to skyrocket. And you will not have the ability to catch up to when this is happening. Actually, we saw inflation uh, back in the early 70s when we were coming onto the petrodollar system, when we were coming off the gold standard. Because what happened was there was a huge amount of dollars in circulation and this is why they had to raise the interest rates at that point in time because the dollar was devalued quite a bit and we saw inflation in homes we saw the inflation in food in fuel and everything else but what we also saw was at that time wages they were readjusted to keep up with what was going on and people were able to put their money the currency into banks and receive a high interest rate which kind of covered up pretty much everything we're on the back end right now and the back end wages are declining interest rates are at zero percent no one's putting their money if they have a job no one's putting their money into the bank to collect interest that's just not happening today and all we're seeing is that the stock market has gone up housing has gone up Healthcare has gone up, college tuition has gone up, and they can't do anything. They can't raise rates. They can't raise them to 12%, 14% to combat what is about to happen. They can't readjust wages. It's completely impossible because we're at the back end of the system. The system is dying. This is what it looks like. The beginning of the system coming off of gold, well, interest rates are high and wages are readjusted the back end of the system wages declining interest rates declining or very very low and here we are and there's nothing they can do about it and this is why you need to be ready and prepared actually there is one thing they can do about it they can have some type of an event where they take the system and they move it to a brand new system and say this is for your benefit and this is exactly what they're going to do this is why you need to be prepared and ready for what is coming.